Praise be to Jesus, because he's our Lord, our Savior, our Redeemer. Well, uh, you might say to yourself, why in the world are you posting this video? It's disgusting, and that it is. Um, I'm posting this video because what does this say about the administration of this Catholic college that would allow a professor to teach in this way. Now here's the headline. This is from Brebart. Holy Cross theology professor says Jesus was a drag king with queer desires. Yeah, just take a look at the picture they have up. The theology program at the Jesuit run College of the Holy Cross has taken on a new tone ever since the school appointed a gender-obsessed chair of New Testament studies who claims Jesus was a drag king. That's in quotes. A new article contends this person's the, um, the chair of New Testament studies. Writing for the Fenwick Review, Eleanor Riley of the Holy Cross class of 2018 argues in a March 26 article, which you can read if you come follow the link and you can click on the word article, that Professor Tat Seong Benny Lude's quote, unconventional readings of scripture have brought a new theological perspective to Holy Cross. Letting the facts speak for themselves, Ms. Riley suggests that, quote, the centrality of sex and gender to his way of thinking about the New Testament, unquote, significantly colors the way that Professor Lude's Oh, this last person's name is Lou. Okay. All right. Um, significantly colors the way that Professor Lou presents Jesus Christ to students at the Catholic College. <clears throat> In a remarkable rereading of the Bible, Professor Lou has argued. Now you can, that's a link also. Excuse me that Jesus is not only king of Israel and king of the Jews, but, quote, also a drag king, unquote, as presented in the New Testament Gospel of John. Um, St. John's constant references to Jesus wanting water, giving water, and leaking water. I don't know what the world is. Leaking water. Quote, speak to Jesus. Jesus' gender indeterminacy. Yikes. And hence his cross dressing and other queer desires, Lou con, uh, content, uh, contends. Reading everything through the lens of gender, Professor Lou finds sex in the most unlikely places in the life of Jesus. The episode of Jesus washing the feet, the apostles' feet at the Last Supper, for example, is suggestive, like a literary striptease and even seductive because it, quote, shows and withholds at the same time, he claims. Well, this article continues. I don't think you need to read it. You know, if you want to be more disgusted with um, uh, even more than you are now, <clears throat> you can read the rest of this. And I'll, I'll leave the link in, uh, at the end of the video and uh, in the um, description box.